Hello and happy Monday. Um, thank you for being here. Um, I am smiling a little bit bigger this morning because I just came from the doctor. So I thought I'd might as well just hop on and give you an update on my foot from the, the doctor's appointment. And of course, do our Monday devotional because um, every Monday in this group, I are on this page, I do a um, just a small devotional that hopefully will help you get started in your week. We talk about the verse that I posted on Sunday. So I hope that you saw that yesterday. Um, I'm going to remind you of that verse and then talk a little bit about it. And it kind of goes um, hand in hand um, with um, my doctor's visit this morning. Um, so first of all, um, again, thank you for being here. I am Marsha and this space is all about faith and fitness and learning how to live a fit and healthy life um, with freedom, finding freedom to live that fit and healthy life. And that really um, comes about by, um, by building that foundation on um, faith or fa building a firm foundation um, on faith. You know, um, our fit life, our healthy life, um, we have to dedicate that to him. We Everything that we do is important to him. Um, and he wants you know, he wants us first and he wants us to look to him first and he will help us in all those other areas. And um, so just like the scripture I shared yesterday, Isaiah 49, 15 to 16, it says, can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? So we're talking about mothers here. You know, uh, we celebrated Mother's Day yesterday. And, um, you know, if you're a mom or a grandma or, you know, um, any sort of mother figure to somebody, you know how much, you know, you um, love and care for that child. Um, and that this verse says, you know, that even though, you know, a mother's love, you know, kind of, um, you know, she won't forget her nursing child. She has compassion. Um, but it says she may forget, you know, our love is flawed, but he goes on to say, I will not forget. And then in verse 16 of Isaiah 49, he says, see, I have inscribed you on the palm of my hands. And, you know, I said um, yesterday in, in the devotional, hey, Carol, thanks for jumping on. I shared in the vo devotional um, something that I hope that you did if you read that. Um, it was something that I heard, I think it was Beth Moore when, when I was doing a study, um, following one of her studies. We said, you know, make a fist, clench your, clench your hands, make a fist, hold it there, and then open it up. And if you see the inside of your palms, you can see those nail prints, you know, those kind of fingerprints in your palms. And basically this verse is telling us he loves us so much. He's got a grip on us. You know, he, he holds us in the palm of his hands, just like you can see the impression of your fingernails if you do that. That is how much he loves us. And, you know, I, I shared too yesterday that, it wasn't really until I became a mom that I began to get a little bit of a glimpse of the father's love. You know, moms, you know, hear me. If you know that you would do anything for your child, you want to see your child happy when your child is sad. Um, you know, you want to cry too. You're sad too. And so it just gave me this glimpse of the father's love for us. You know, if in my flawed self and in my flawed way of loving um you know i love this child so much but he his love is perfect and he loves us you know with a love that we can't comprehend this you know maybe being being a mother or you know being a father gives just the slightest glimpse of of what it's like and what the father's love is for us but i want to go back to i said you know i just came from the doctor and praise the lord thank you all for your prayers, for your words of encouragement. Um, I, I had to go for, uh, I went two weeks ago, that's when I found out I had two stress fractures, um, some tendonitis in my foot, um, basically, you know, no running, and I, you know, was upset about missing the 5K at the mini last Saturday. Um, and again, so much um, encouragement and love from you and prayers. I went for an MRI on Friday, so I went back to the doctor today to um, get that read, and he said I can run, so I'm super excited about that. He said that the MRI shows a stress reaction, 
not a stress fracture. And I believe that that is God's healing power on my foot um, because on the x-ray, you know, it was pretty clear that there was a line there like where there was you know some some fracturing going on and so um yes praise the lord carol um so i said so you're telling me that i can run and he's like yep you know of course not every day not long miles you know i'm gonna ease back into it he said to ice and and you know gave me a few things and that I need to consider and and be careful with and again thankfully I you know it's biking weather it's summer it's warm it's like gonna be 90 I almost didn't want him to tell me I could run today <laughs> because it's gonna be so hot but of course uh, praise the Lord I will go out and um, run a little bit with my Shelby Roadrunners uh, this evening um, but the thing is back to this verse you know God knows the things that we love the things that are important to us are important to him and you know yes he, his he is good all the time and I you know struggled with the timing of all this and having to miss that 5k and everything and I I did not I have to say you can say oh ye of little faith to me because it's probably right I did not necessarily expect him to release me today um, I didn't expect him to say yes you can go run and I actually just I asked him specifically so you're telling me I can go run and he said yes go run um, but then I said and all that kind of thing I wasn't expecting that um, but yet you know I look at this verse and I look at our loving father and I know that the things that are important to us are important to him and in this situation and I know that there are things that we struggle with and we don't understand when healing doesn't happen um, you know that is a result of the world that we we live in um, I got in a phone call um, but anyway um, so I just wanted to share first of all thank you for your prayers God is good God is faithful he he is choosing to allow me to have healing in this and I praise him for that and again I just go back to um, this verse in Isaiah he loves us the things that are important to us are important to him just like the things that are important to our our kids um, are important to us and so you know just one other thing you know um, with this mother's love you know the um, pastor said yesterday um, kind of in the homily he talked about you know I talked about getting a glimpse of the father's love for us and, and how I can see that now as being a mom but you know moms women we have the opportunity to share his love um, with the people in our lives with our children with our family um, and so I just encourage you to remember that we are evidence of God's love and we can be avenues of his love to other people so I encourage you to you know receive his love to to um, embrace what he has given to you but also to go out and share his love with others um, and again you have shared that with me by praying for me and lifting me up and and giving me encouraging words and so um, you know I thank you for that and um, you know I'm gonna be a good steward of this healing I'm not gonna go out and try to run you know a bunch and hurt myself um, but I'm gonna be easing back into it and um, you know icing and following doctor's orders but um, I am just grateful that we have a Heavenly Father that that loves us so much and that the things that are important to us are important to him and he shows up in our lives um, in all different kinds of ways and so I hope that you see that in your life today I hope that you see that in your life through um, this week um, just have a fantastic week and I will be back um, next week with more scripture more encouragement um, if you find this encouraging I, you know I just ask that you maybe share it out somebody else might need to hear um, a little bit from God's Word today to get their week going so thanks for being here Carol thank you for being on thank you for your prayers and your support and um, everybody have a great week and I'll talk to you soon